Today I'm going to go over Hues and Cues, my newest game, joined, oh yes, by the ever helpful Pika. Thank you, Pika. So how we would play is when it's your turn, you draw one of these cards. You choose one of these four colors and you are going to try to communicate what color you've chosen using one word only the first time around. So if I picked this uh, yellow one, which is I3, sometimes it helps to find it on the board itself. So this would be I3. It's kind of a yellowy, it has a little bit of green, um, but I might say um, sunshine. And so on the board, everybody else is going to put their little colored piece where they think the color sunshine is. And if I had said sunshine, I would probably get quite a few people putting it on the brighter yellows and maybe some of these orangier yellows. And so everybody puts their guess down. And then once I see where everybody has put their guess, I might say, oh, they're not getting the green, the green element. So then maybe I would say, um, what's something that's a little bit green or maybe like unripe lemons. And that would give my other players a clue that, okay, we need to be a little bit more in this direction. And then everybody would place the same, their color piece down again on their second guess. And then I reveal the color by placing this box with my color in the very center, I3 here. Oops, that's not center. I3. Anybody who got it right gets three points. Anybody in this uh, section would get two points. And anybody who is in this outer ring, square ring, would get one point. And as the clue giver, I would get however many points are the people who were in this ring. So the way I would recommend counting points, which I think is the most complicated part of this game, is start with the card, the clue giver, count up their points. So I would get one. Move their little cone. This is the scoring box. And then as you count these points, take away the cones. So pink would get two points, two points. I move their thing wherever off the board and then I move pink two. And then, oh, white gets one point. So I move the white and then I move white one because what we realized as we were playing is it's easy to forget. Did I already count this cone? Especially when there are two of each color on the board. All in all, it was a fun game to play with all ages. We had as young as a five-year-old and then a 10-year-old and everywhere in between kids' ages and then adults with uh, parents and grandparents all playing together. And we all enjoyed it. It was pretty relaxing. It's not a stressful game at all. It's kind of fun to see how people describe the colors and the more creative you are, the better it is. Uh, not not an exciting game, not a challenging game, just a really nice way, reason to sit together at a table and spend some time. That's Hughes and Cues.